Um, so, to that end, our, our medley that we do at the beginning, which was arranged by Kent Collins, one of the seniors. And we do a little flavor of some other things they could do and other roles that they'd like to play. But there's only so much time tonight, you can't see all of those roles. Um, now, the shows that you're seeing tonight, you may know some of them, you may not know some of them. And because you're seeing an excerpt of them, about a 10 minute uh, clip of the show, I am here to fill in the gaps with these lovely paragraphs that give you kind of a bit of backstory of the show and specifically what's happening and what you're seeing, particularly if there are big gaps in um, the plot line so that you know what happened in the, in the portions that you're not seeing tonight. I also help cover costume changes. We're good. You know, <laughs> so if I talk for a long time, it's because I know there's a costume change happening as well as set changes. Um, <laughs> um, no, we're still keep so talking. We need some help. Thanks. Great. So I'm going to talk a little bit. Um, okay. uh, but as I said, these are here to help fill in the gaps about what you don't know. Um, I will also tell you now there is a 15 minute intermission tonight, and afterwards. Um, the students will come out so that you can say what a great job they did because they're going to do a great job. They've got an amazing show for you tonight. Um, keep in mind, though, that when they say after about 15 to 20 minutes of mingling time, I have to go um, back for a talk back that you let them go and not go, why? I want to talk to Bill. You can talk to them on social media later. Um, but part of the reason that we do this is so that there is a transition for them into the professional world as they leave there. Many of these seniors are graduating next week. And so this kind of gives them a little bit of a launch to the professional world. We have some industry professionals who are here tonight watching them. There are some more who are watching via our live stream camera. Um, so that they might be able to match the student skill set with needs they have now or in the near future. Um, so we're very appreciative of them taking their time um, to consider our students and help them make that connection um, into the working world. So I'm going to go ahead and start reading the paragraph about this because I have a feeling they're probably okay now. Uh, our evening begins in the social jungle of a modern day high school. Juniors Janice Sarkeesian, played by Katie Anna DeRosa, and her best friend Damian Hubbard, played by Sean Andrick, are social outcasts whose motto to navigate the ever-changing, swirled social chaos around them is to be unapologetically themselves. When sweet, naive new girl Caddy, it's pronounced Katie. <laughs> Katie, here, played by Jessica Medley, arrives at their school, the three of them quickly become inseparable. When the social queens of this teenage wasteland, the plastics, Regina George, played by Colleen Broom, Gretchen Wieners, played by Maddie Walker, and Karen Smith, played by Carissa Dumbacher, also take an interest in Katie. Janice sees an opportunity to take revenge on Regina for all the havoc she has wreaked on those around her, including a middle school aged Janice. When Katie gets caught up in the glamour of popularity and having the perfect boy toy in Aaron Samuels, played by Andrew Sivko, Janice brings their friendship to an end and fully embraces her authenticity in a world of plastic. This piece also features Michael Fuller Bigby, Michelle Roberts, Ethan Walker, Harmony Bordenaro, Ryan Koch, Rachel Larcher, Journey Velez, and Hallie Chapman. She took it, Eric, back! Regina just like, took it, Eric, back! Oh, of course she did, Caddy. She's a life ruiner. She ruins people's lives. Now you know, Regina George is not your friend. We are your friends. And we're gonna make the day.
played by Lauren Abel, is excited to participate in the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee. 11-year-old Olive is dealing with the normal struggles of growing up and making friends and the added pressure of a less than perfect home life. As she attempts to spell her way to the National Spelling Bee in Washington, D.C., she dreams of having parents, played by Lily Breland and Chase Cashin, who are caring and involved in her spelling adventures as well as life beyond the bee. Will the stars align in perfect syzygy for Olive? Well, let's find out. <laughs> And put away all cameras. Sorry, no photos at the bee. Oh, and I need to speak to one, Miss Olive Ostrovsky. Oh, I'm Olive. Oh, Miss Ostrovsky, it seems we have a procedure entrance fee. Uh, entrance fee? Did the school not tell you about the $25 entrance fee? Did your mom bring you here, or your dad, maybe? Um, my dad had to go into work, but he's going to try to come later. Who brought you to the beat, dear? The bus! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, we'll discuss the entrance fee later. Please take your seat. Then without further ado, let the spelling begin <laughs> with Miss Olive Ostrovsky. Miss mm. Ostrovsky won second place at her school's Halloween contest. I was roadkill! <laughs> <laughs> Philanthropy. May I have a definition, please? The delusion that one has become an ox. <laughs> oh, wait, ma'am, um, could you please not sit in that seat? I saved a chair for my dad in the fourth row on the aisle. And it may take him a while, but when he gets here, Come on. 
It means unreal, imaginary, visionary, highly unrealistic, wildly fanciful. Why go?
H-I-M-E-R-I-C-A-L. Wildly fanciful. Highly.
I am ready. I think you look nice. <laughs> <laughs> she look even better if she just lost some weight. Mom, you can't say that. That's it, it's okay. No, it's not. Mom, Jenny worked her ass off for this wedding. If only. Mom! What? I'm just speaking the truth. Now, Jenny, don't forget to talk to the photographer. Um. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am 
am a CPA, a certified public accountant, a rank a miserable little worm like you could never achieve. <laughs> I spent my life accounting with figures and such. To what is my life amounting? Figures, not much. I have a secret desire hiding deep in my soul. It sets my heart afire to see me in this role. I want to be a producer with a hit show on Broadway. Where do we begin? Well, step one, you find the worst play ever written 
in town, and he has my permission to make springtime for Hitler just as gay as he wants. <laughs> Step three. Ooh la, ooh la, wow, 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 wow. I love seeing someone on this couch under the age of 85. I have to raise some money. There's a lot of little old ladies in this town. We step through. It appears we are all alone, aren't we? Uh, yes, we are, aren't we? I mean, we are, uh, aren't we? Find Mr. Bloom press so far down stage right. <laughs> Trace, but it's worth it for that thing. 